YouTube. So I got a, another piece of amazing gear in the mail today. Um, I'm going to be doing, this is the beginning uh, or the start of a new uh, video type series that I'm calling Quick Tips. Um, since this is the first video, I'm going to let it go um, as long as, uh, you know, not too long, but, you know, pretty long just to give you all the detail. But uh, in future videos, um, I'm going to try to keep them under, we'll say, under six minutes, so around five minutes max, and uh, it might even go shorter than that. And basically, the series is going to be about, um, you know, uh, a lot of the times I, uh, when I'm ordering gear and stuff, you know, it, it usually only has kind of like one purpose, um, and it'll either mess up or I'll throw it in my closet, and then it'll be there for years, and then, you know, I find a, I find a use for it that it wasn't intended for or maybe you know I modded it or something and uh, basically just gonna be a series on like repurposing uh, gear for like uh, you know under unintended purposes but they end up working out uh, I hope that makes sense but um anyways just keep keep a lookout for future videos um, so in front of me I have uh, my H my handy dandy uh, HMB Forge Shawnee Tomahawk and uh, as you can see, it's inside of, uh, this is the Maxpedition UFBS, um, which stands for Universal Flashlight Baton Sheath. Um, stumbled on this product on accident. I was looking, uh, I did a search for uh, mag pouches. Uh, I wanted to carry my PVC fishing kit uh, on my belt. I'm a big believer in carrying uh, important items uh, either on your belt or like in a pocket or something. Um, I see a lot of people carry really important gear inside their pack, which, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not hating on you or nothing. But um, one of the problems with that is if your pack gets snagged on something and uh, you got to jettison it or maybe you fall into a lake, some type of body of water, river, or something, and you got to ditch that, ditch your pack. You know, the majority of your gear is going to be at the bottom of a, a ravine or uh, a lake or stuck in a tree or something, you know. And uh, what are you going to do when your fire starter or your axe or your hawk is uh, in that pack and, you know, you can't, you can't get it. So, um, you know, I wanted something that uh, I could carry on my belt and, you uh, that's why I wanted my fishing kit on my belt. But anyways, um, I stumbled on this on accident. Um, you know, after looking at it for a while, I was like, you know, that would make an awesome tomahawk uh, carrying system or axe carrying system. Um, a lot of people that did reviews on this, you know, that written reviews, uh, Hal Army did a, a really good video review. You know, he liked it a lot. I've seen a couple other video reviews, and a lot of people complained that uh, it kind of sucks for flashlights. But since I'm not going to carry a flashlight, I thought uh, I'd give it a try, and uh, I'm glad I bought it. I mean, it fits my hawk, as you can see, perfectly. It's fully adjustable. Um, this strap, you could really cinch this up on here, and what I like is... Um, it doesn't it doesn't really move around if uh, a lot of the traditional like uh, belt loop carrying systems that you see are made out of leather or whatever uh, they usually don't have a flap like this um, they're usually just like this and uh, one of the problems that I've seen uh, is uh, you know if you're carrying it like that sometimes the, the hawk will kind of like swing around like this um, it bumps into something it could swing around um, also, if you kneel down or something, uh, it'll bump out. Another problem, too, is if you had a run or something, this could, uh, just from your motion and bouncing around, it could pop out and you could lose it. Um, I'm sure, you know, there's going to be a lot of work guys that will probably chime in, and I hope they do. You know, I'm not ragging on any of them. And I mean, that's been the traditional way to do it, and it's worked for years, many years, and it's still done, and I understand why it works. But... For me, uh, I don't want to lose this piece of gear if I had to run or something in an emergency. Uh, so that's what I like, uh, that it has this little like lid right here. Um, if you if you know you're not going to run, you don't need to use this really. 
um, as you can see I just put it over here and I looped it but if I had a run or I really wanted to secure it down I could just uh, un unloop that put that lid down and then really cinch this up because there's a looking loop here on the side and uh, now I don't have to worry about this uh, brushing up into a tree or something and, and coming off and I lose my hawk or something um, also what's nice is uh, the back it's uh, molly compatible what's nice is um, again say I fall into a body of water and this is kind of weighing me down um, I have tested it out uh, this is hook and loop I could just push this off and then yank this off and it'll come right off my belt so you know heaven forbid I'm ever in a situation where I gotta lose my hawk that way but if I had to in a, a survival I could do that um, what's nice about this is if you don't want to use it for your tomahawk you maybe got a flashlight or something you could wear it horizontal and vertical um, you know the scout style um, this material back here it looks like leather but it's some type of like a, a rubber or something and this is really really great stuff I like it um, because when it's sitting against my pants um, this doesn't rock back and forth when I walk and uh, it's not abrasive either so it's not going to wear my clothes out um, this is foliage green I'm I only got foliage green because I didn't want black and uh, khaki was sold out and uh, the OD, uh, OD green was sold out. They're all back ordered. And uh, I really didn't want black and I ordered this from LA Police Gear because uh, I live in California. I live in Bakersfield and uh, uh, where they're at is uh, it's just like, you know, it's less than an hour away from me. So, you know, I like to support. Uh, California businesses when I can. I like to support local businesses when I can, but unfortunately, the, the only two local businesses that carry Max Edition here in my place or town, they didn't have this product, um, which I wasn't looking for at the time. But um, well, actually, you know, when I stumbled on it, I did. I did uh, call up these places and ask them if they had it. They didn't, so I went with LA Police Gear. Um, so um, that completes the the little uh, segment. Um, I don't have any editing software. I don't know if I mentioned it. I've, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I've redone this video at least 10 times. I kept getting interrupted. So uh, if I mentioned it, sorry. If I didn't, I'm mentioning it now. Um, if you want to, I don't have editing software, so I can't roll in any pictures or I can't roll in any uh, footage with it on my hip. Um, if you're uh, a big, uh, big fat guy like me, you want to see how this rides on uh, on my waist? Um, I'll be posting up pictures on my Facebook page. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. Click on it, and uh, you can check out those pictures. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, as always, if you have uh, any comments, um, you know, you, maybe I didn't cover something. Post it. Um, what else? Uh, maybe you thought this video was boring. Uh, maybe I got some type of information wrong. You know, please comment. Uh, I love good or bad, uh, good or bad comments. Um, maybe there's a piece of gear you want me to do a, a review on. You know, just let me know. Post a comment. You know, feel free. Don't be scared. Um, if I don't get back to your comments because of the whole changes with YouTube. Um, I, I highly suggest that you go to my Facebook page and just post a comment there, ask your question there, and uh, I'll definitely get to it. So I'm on Facebook a lot, so I'll definitely get to it very quick. So uh, if you post it on uh, on the video down in the comments, maybe I don't get back to you in like three or more days, then I definitely suggest hitting up Facebook, and I'll definitely get back to you. So um, as always, thanks for uh, thanks for your views, thanks for your support, and I have a I have a couple more pieces of gear coming in, so I'll have some more uh, vids coming out soon. Thanks, and uh, bye, guys.